hi friends welcome back so in this video especially this video will be very useful for those who wanted to join the private organization or any companies any small organization in case if you get hired to those companies they will give you the compensation letter they will give you offer letter as part of the offer letter whatever the company or organization they are offering the salary or offering the package for you which will consisting of three different categories their overall package overall salary package they bundled in a three categories so i'll be showing what are those different categories under cost to the company in the computer now i'll try to explain in detail what are the different breakups of cost to the company the overall cost of the company which is ctc as a basically a three component one is direct component another one is indirect component another one is savings component basically any ctc any salary package will consisting of these three components so i am going to explain so what are the various ingredients will be there in direct components now in direct components so we'll have a basic salary which is basic pay and we have dearance allowance then any incentives or bonuses the bonuses can be various bonuses they may give the festival bonuses or any other bonuses if they give in organization those things they will call out out in this column in the similar way whenever you are traveling from your home to office or office to home or any other places if it is official work then they will give conveyance allowance in case if you are staying in a rental apartment or rental house you can claim this house rent allowance it's also another component they will give and there is also a medical allowances on any medical uh, test or medical uh, visits to any nearby hospital you can claim certain uh, amount of medical allowances on per month basis that will also come under medical allowance category and there is also a leave travel allowance category where any travel which we may do from your hometown to your office place or office place to your hometown maybe if you are making a, any big travel or any two vacation then you can claim those things as well under leave travel allowance then this joining bonus the joining bonus also they will give especially this bonus they will give for retaining purpose especially they wanted to encourage you to come and join to their company that is the time they will give you additional amount as a joining bonus then the performance bonus this also will be given certain companies they will give in quarterly basis certain companies they will give half yearly basis certain companies they will give yearly basis so basically whatever the outcome of that year whatever your performance outcome of that year so based on that certain calculation they will calculate and they will provide the performance bonuses and also there is also called as vehicle allowances in case uh, you are using your private vehicle where uh, you are putting a petrol or your driver certain allowances also you can claim under vehicle allowances and any and any telephone charges or mobile charges so whatever the broadband or data which are used in your mobile phone for official purposes then those things also can claim under these allowances and also apart from this there are any special allowances if they give you as part of your package that will come under these sections so these are the some of the component which is directly benefiting you as part of the ctc cost to the company now let us understand what are the indirect benefit as part of the cost to the company if you wanted to take a bike or a car they will give certain advance amount to you which you can use to buy the car give a housing advance or you can uh, do anything with those amount as an advance amount which company gives to you which you need to repay back to the company in the later stages but this will be more of a completely interest free loan which they give to you as part of your 
overall salary package and also there is also a subsidized coupons or products or coupons or meals also they will offer as part of this package certain level of the employees maybe people who are at the senior level they will get an additional benefit such as company leased accommodation company leased car and so on and also apart from that certain companies they offer by default the group insurance group health insurance and so on as apart from this certain companies they offer stocks employee stock options they will also give certain companies they will give certain portion of the equity also to their employees that is also is going to include as part of your package but these things may not come to you on month on month basis but as a overall cost of the company they will include you also in your salary offer letter because of that certain companies their salary package is very huge especially if they include stock options or equity or any other things if they include which is a very huge amount normally you cannot get that amount on monthly basis normally those benefits like special especially stock options this will get for next 5 years you can redeem all these things for next 5 years but these things also they will include as part of your offer letter because of that your overall package cost will be very high in your offer letter hence you should not hence you should not always look on the indirect benefits first thing you should look here is what are the direct benefits i am going to get it what are the direct benefits which i am going to get it on month on month basis those things you should look into the offer letter as a first thing then the next thing which is the third thing is as a saving option which comes as a you, your employee provident fund your employee provident fund here apart from your 12% contribution whatever it goes as a deduction on month on month basis even company also they will put another 12% from their pocket which is an additional savings for you on month on month basis normally this amount they don't put you in the pay slip but this will come to your hand when you are withdrawing your epf and also there is also a gratuity they'll give now if you are going to stay in the company for continuous service for 5 years you can claim the gratuity that is also they will include it as a savings component as part of the overall cost of the company offer or a package which they give it as part of your offer letter so till now you are able to understand so what are the various component will be there as part of the CTC. Now we will understand what is all about a gross salary. The so gross salary is nothing but at the end of the day, at the end of at the end of the month, whatever the money which company gave it to you before deduction. That is the gross salary. Before deduction, whatever the money they will give it to you before any deduction, that we will call it as a gross salary. Then the next term it is take home salary or a net salary what is all about a net salary and a take home salary means so whatever the company gives to you on month on month basis minus a deductions then that will get you your take home salary or your net salary now i will show you how the pay slips will really look for you so what are the various components will be there in the pay slip so if you can see right the pay slips will have basically three sections one is the employee details that is the first section where it provides all the information related to employee it could be your employee number employee name designation your work location business unit bank name bank account number and how many days you have worked or, or what is your epf universal account number then what is your pan number what is your ecsa number so these are the all the details related to employee which will be normally given at the top of the pay slip in the second uh, section we will have earnings basically these are the things if you audit everything we will call it as a total gross salary 
so in this we'll have basics hra transport allowance lta medical allowance performance bonuses special bonuses food allowance then shift allowances or any allowances which i just talked earlier everything will come under earning section now under deductions so there could be various deduction may be there in case if they are given a loan to you as a interest free then they will deduct on month on month basis for a certain amount that is few deductions there is a, there is also a deduction of your employee provident fund around 12% of your contributions also they will deduct then they will, they will deduct the state tax which is professional tax also they will deduct under this section and also they will deduct the income tax whatever the total earnings you have received for that they will calculate the income tax computation and they will put the deductions on month on month basis so that they can collect the taxes every month so that when they are giving form 16 to you everything will be consolidated to you as part of the form 16 what are the total uh, amount which they given to you compared to your ctc and how much taxes they have paid on behalf of you to the government of india all those details will be given in the form 16 if you guys really like this video then click on like button and if you guys are not subscribed to testing shala then do click on subscribe and bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox thanks for watching this video bye for now take care